when you're painting, when you hear the word dry brush, and you, you will hear me say that all the time in our tapes, our TV shows, and written in our books and in workshops. So you got to get used to all these terms, folks. This tape is only the things that I teach and share with you and all the things we do. Now, dry brush blending is one of the more important steps. You usually use a, a bristle brush for dry brush blending because bristle brushes are designed to take the punishment. If you dry brush with a uh, uh, oh, a sable brush, for instance, you do a lot of scrubbing, you'll ruin it because those bristles are fairly sensitive to that. You can do some minor dry brushing, which I'll show you when we get to the rocks. But right now, I just want to show you the technique. Now, this is a dry background, okay? We'll just assume this was a, like we just finished the painting of the background there while, and say that we're dry, I want to dry brush some clouds in there. Well, sometimes you can put clouds in while it's wet, but generally they blend in too much and they don't have the impact or the clarity that a dry painting would have. So now what you do is you take your bristle brush, in this case the number six bristle, we come down here on our palette with a little gesso, and I'm going to pick up a little water. Now these are little techniques and tricks. So to dip in the water in the jar over here, or the can, I'm going to come right to my big hake brush. Can you see it? And there's moisture on it. I'll just dab a little like this. That way I don't get too much water. Now we add just a little bit of orange to this mixture, or yellow, whatever the tint needs to be. And just a little more gesso there. Now you work that in. Now the secret here is not to get too much paint on your brush. So I'm going to wipe this out, get the excess moisture out, wipe the paint out, and then just load the tip of it, just the very end like this. Then come up to your sky. Now let's say I want to put a, a cloud right here. Just Dab that on. Now here's the secret. Now that's wet. So this is called wet on dry, wet on dry brush blending. Now you turn your brush. You can hold it like this. You don't have to hold it like a pencil. You can hold it like this and you scrub like this. Now watch how nice this works. If I use the side of the brush and fade this out. See how this is called dry brush. You can just absolutely feel it. It's dry. It's rough. You get enough moisture in the paint. It's creamy. It just fades out into a beautiful, beautiful soft blend from the highlight value down into the background. You can't even see where the, the, the cloud began or ended. All right, so actually, now we come back and say you want to add another cloud. We just put a little dab of paint. See what I've done there? Then you turn your brush sideways. You go ahead and form the top of your cloud. So I'm going to connect it to this one. But I want to fade it out so I scrub. You can hear it. Hear that scrubbing noise? Well, that's obviously the dryness of the canvas. Now, this is wet paint, so we have to call it wet on dry, but the technique is called dry brush. This is a, a, a watercolor technique. This is, uh, you know, watercolor artists actually sort of invented this. And uh, so you, you, you leave an interesting shape to your cloud, but then you feather the back part out into the sky. Now, say so I want to put another one right in this area. Well, I'll just come down and reload. I have to remix here. Now, the key here is to make sure your paint is not too wet, but also that it's not too dry. And if you hear the word creamy, that's exactly what it is. Creamy is kind of like soft butter. You know how butter gets just before it melts? All right, now I'm going to come in there, put a little dab of paint, and I turn my brush on its side. That's what we call the chisel edge right there. And we scrub. Fading it out, dry brushing it. So a lot of times if you, when you're reading through the books, of course the books have a, a little glossary, a technique uh, talks about these things. But if you see or hear the word dry brush, it simply means you're going to take wet paint, very small amount, you're going to put it on a dry canvas and you're going to scrub it out. See there, now look at that nice big glob of paint, but I'm going to make a nice shape. It just simply means you're going to take the wet paint, small amount, and you're going to create a form and then blend its base out into the underpainting so that you don't see any edges. The only edge you see is the top edge, which you have to see in order for it to have form. But it's the blending part that we're talking about here. That's called dry.